today's video we're going to be working on solving system of equations by substitution. Okay, we have in the first one we have y equals one half x plus three, and in the other equation we have y equals five. We're always going to try to use this equation first because the variable there is that one, it's already solved, and all we have to do is substitute to it. So everywhere you see a y, we're just going to put we're going to substitute with 5. So we're going to go ahead and solve it. And it's going to be y, no more y, because we have, we're going to substitute it by 5. So we're going to put 5 equals 1 half x plus 3. Once we do that, if you look at it, that becomes like a multi-step or a two-step equation, you can say. So going to get rid of the positive 3 by putting negative 3. Whatever we do on one side of the equal signs, to balance it out, we have to do it on the other side of the equal sign. So now we're going to have 5 minus 3. It's going to be 2 equals 1 half x. Now to get rid of this, we need to multiply. So we're going to multiply 2 over 1. Whatever we do on one side of the equal sign, we're going to do it on the other side. So this is going to go ahead and cancel. It's going to leave the variable by itself, x. Now we're just going to multiply 2 times 2. It's going to be 4. So your answer right here is going to be x equals 4. So when you go ahead and put your answer, you're going to go ahead and put 4 for x. And then we have 5 already solved. So we're just going to go ahead and put 5 in that. In this problem, we have 7x minus y equals negative 10. Then the other problem, we have negative 7x plus 5y equals negative 6. In this problem, we don't have one that's already solved for, the, for us, so we're going to go ahead and choose any of the equations there. I'm going to go ahead and choose the top equation first, so 7x minus y equals negative 10. You can go ahead and choose any equation you want and any variable to leave it by itself. On this equation, I'm going to go ahead and have y by itself, so first I'm going to do minus 7x on both sides. Whatever we do on one side, don't forget we have to always do it on the other side. Minus y equals negative 7x minus 10. Now, our variable can never be negative, so we're going to go ahead and divide by negative 1. Whatever we do on one side of the equal sign, we have to always do it on the other side. So we're going to have now y equals negative 10. So negative is going to be a positive 7x. Negative 10 is positive is going to be a positive 10. So now that we have the y by itself, now what we're going to go ahead is go ahead and substitute. And we're going to use this equation to go ahead and substitute. So we're going to go ahead and put negative 7y, no I'm sorry, negative 7x plus 5. And whatever we have here as y, we're just going to go ahead and put it inside the parentheses. We have 7x plus 10. Go ahead, close the parentheses, equals negative 6. We're going to go ahead and multiply that. So now we're going to have negative 7x. Negative, a positive times a positive is going to be positive 35 x and 5 times 10 is positive 50 equals negative 6. Then after that we're going to go ahead and combine like terms. If you don't remember how to go how to combine like terms you can go ahead and go back and look at a video that I have about combining like terms. Now we're going to go ahead and combine like terms in this one. We have these two that are like terms. But we have here a negative 7x plus a positive 35x. So when we have two different signs, we're going to go ahead and subtract. What's bigger? 35 or 7? 35. So what's in front of the 35? It's a positive sign. So we're going to go ahead and subtract 35 from 7. It's going to give us 28x plus 50 equals negative 6. We're going to go ahead and minus 50, whatever we do on one side, 
you go ahead and do it to the other side. That becomes, you can say, a two-step equation. I'm just going to go ahead. Okay. So then we've got 28x equals negative 2 of the same sign. So we're going to go ahead and add them. It's 56. Negative 56. Then this becomes a one-step equation. And again, if you don't know how to do a two-step equation, a one-step equation, you can go ahead back and look at one of those videos for one-step equation, two-step equation, just to brush it up and remember how to do it. So they're multiplying to get rid of the multiplication. It's going to divide. Whatever we do on one side of the equal sign, we're going to do it on the other side of the equal sign. So now we're going to have x equals negative and a positive is going to be a negative 2. So now that we have that, we can just go ahead and plug this into this problem here because we already know what it is. So we're going to go ahead and have y from over there from that equation, y equals 7x plus 10. And we're just going to go and look at the x which was negative 2. And we're just going to substitute that. So we're going to have y equals 7 and we're going to go ahead and put negative 2 where plus 10 and we're just going to go ahead and multiply that and just solve it we go at y equals negative 14 plus we have two different signs, so we know we're going to go ahead and subtract. So what's bigger, 14 or 10? 14, so what's signed in front of the 14 is a negative, so our answer is going to be negative. And then we're going to subtract 14 from 10, which is going to be 4. So we already have our y. So when we go ahead and put our answer, we're going to put it as negative 2 negative 4. On this example we're using 7x plus 4y equals 24 and we have 4x equals 16. On this problem we don't have a variable that is already solved. We don't, we don't have x equals a number or y equals a number. But we have something easy to do. We can choose any of the two equations to go ahead and solve for x first or substitute x or y. Remember in math, you always want to do it as easy as possible for you. So you don't want to go ahead and make it hard for you. So whatever, in my suggestion, I would go with this one first because this one's already easy. It's a one-step equation that you just have to solve. So we have 4x equals 16. I'm going to go ahead and solve for x already. So what we're going to do is divide by 4. Whatever we do on one side of the equal sign, forget we have to do it on the other side. So we have x equals... Four. So all we have to do is go ahead and substitute your x for 4 in this equation. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and do that. We're going to go ahead and put 7, put 4 in, plus 4y equals 24. So we're going to go ahead and put 28. Because 7 times 4 is 28 plus 4y equals 24. So this becomes a two step equation now. We're going to go ahead and get rid of 28. What's well, the opposite of positive 28? is going to be negative 28. Whatever we do on one side of the equal sign, we have to do it on the other side of the equal sign. So this is going to get canceled. Now we have 4y equals. We have two different signs, so we're going to go ahead and know that we're going to have to subtract. Now, what's bigger, 24 or 28? 28. What's in front of the 28? It's a negative, so our answer should be a negative on this side of the equal sign. 28 minus 24 is going to go ahead and be 4. Then we're going to divide by 4. Whatever you do on one side of the equal sign, don't forget, you have to do it on the other side. So y equals... 4 goes to 4 one time, positive times a negative is going to be a negative 1. So when we go ahead and write our answer, it's going to be as 4 and negative 1.
In this problem, we're solving 6x plus 7y equals negative 9, and we have negative 4x minus 5y equals 5. In this problem, then it gave us the variable that's already solved. So you're going to go ahead and choose one of the equations and try to have one of the variables by itself. So then you can go ahead and substitute to the other equation. In this example, I'm just going to use this example here, and then I'm going to solve for y. For y. So we're going to go ahead and do negative 4 x minus 5y equals 5. Then we're going to go ahead and solve for y like I said, so positive 4x, whatever you do on, on one side of the equal sign, make sure you go ahead and do it on the other side of the equal sign. So we have negative 5y equals 4x plus 5. To get rid of it, we have to leave the y by itself. We're going to divide by a negative 5 so we can go ahead and leave the variable as a positive because we always have to leave a variable as a positive so y equals negative 4 over 5 x negative times a positive is going to be a negative 1 so we went ahead and got y already so what we're going to go ahead and do now is go wherever we see y in this first one we're going to go ahead and plug the y in there, okay? So we're going to go ahead and do 6x plus 7, parentheses, whatever we have here, right? For the y, we have negative 4 over 5 minus 1, and then close parentheses equals negative 9 okay so then after that we're going to go ahead and solve it I'm going to multiply it. so we have 6x plus 7 I'm sorry so set a negative times a positive is going to give you a negative 28 over 5 and then positive times a negative and give you negative 7 equals negative 9. Then we're going to go ahead and combine like terms, but don't forget, I did a mistake here. I didn't bring down my x. Let me make sure we go ahead and bring that down. Now, we're going to go ahead and combine like terms, like I said. So, we cannot combine unless it's the same fraction. So, we're going to go ahead and multiply that by 5, whatever we do on the bottom, we have to do it on the top to have the same denominator and we have 30x over 5 minus 28x over 5 minus 7 equals negative 9 we're going to subtract this, so now we're going to have 2 over 5x minus 7 equals negative 9 we ran out of space from the bottom so we're going to go ahead and just start where we left off and we're going to go ahead and do positive to get rid of a negative 7 we're going to go ahead and do positive 7 so whatever you do on one side of the equal sign don't forget we're going to do it on the other side of the equal sign now we have two different signs we're going to subtract negative 2 don't forget our variable then to get rid of this we're going to multiply by 5 over 2 multiply by 5 over 2 so this game is going to go ahead and cancel now we have our variable x by ourselves now we can go ahead and cross multiply so we can go ahead and simplify and 2 goes into 2 one time and then 2 goes into 2 one time so it's going to go over here and be negative 5 so your x equals to negative 5 now we're going to go ahead and use the other uh, equation I'm just going to plug in what our x is going to be so we're going to have y equals negative 4 over 5 x we already know what x is negative 5 and we 
we're going to go ahead and put negative 1. So y equals negative 20. A negative times of a negative is a positive. 20 over 5 minus 1. So y equals 5 goes into 20 4 times minus 1. So y equals 3. And we've got, we have x and we have y. So we go ahead and put your answer. You can go ahead and put it at negative 5 and 3.